Hey everyone, I hope that you're all doing well as we're getting started with Unit 6 in our intercession class. Um, as I knew it would, it's gone quickly. Um, so we're starting on Unit 6, which is the last of the two-day units in the intercession. Um, some of you have already been engaged with Unit 6. Um, others of you are getting to it now. Um, if you're still catching up on some work, that's totally fine. Um, at this point, I want to tell you to prioritize um, completing the project. You will have um, Saturday and uh, half day Sunday to work on the project. Um, that's the kind of thing in our class that will um, demonstrate the ways that you've learned to apply historical thinking ideas, the ways that you've learned to think about historical sources, and apply the context that we've been learning over the past couple of weeks about New Mexico's complex histories. Um, so that's, again, that's an important uh, project to complete if you're kind of getting to the point where um, you may need to, to choose to let a couple of things go by. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that or if you would like some help kind of strategizing how to finish the course strong if you're in that kind of a position. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts about very recent New Mexico history. Um, I was listening to a podcast about, uh, it's on the, um, what is it called? It's called The Experiment. I just barely started listening to it. Um, it's through The Atlantic and WNYC. Um, it has someone who formerly worked on Radiolab as the lead on it. And the episode I listened to today was from a couple of months ago, but it was about the how recent um, American democracy has really become a democracy through the Voting Rights Act um, and how fragile that is, especially because of the 2013 Supreme Court ruling that gutted it. Um, so I say that as a way of prefacing what we'll be studying in Unit 6. Uh, we'll be doing the Depression through World War II. We'll be looking at a lot of different aspects of how different people experienced those time frames in New Mexico history. We'll also be looking at the Civil Rights era. Um, African American history is, is deeper in New Mexico than just blackdom. Um, or um, even Esteban's um, um, role, I, I guess, with the Spanish conquest coming to Hawiku um, early on. So um, something else that we'll be, we'll be exploring and studying in Unit 6. So I'm looking forward again to your ideas on that. I did want to mention that as all too often happens with the intercession, um, today and tomorrow I have some meetings that I have to attend for CNM and I also have a pr another project that I have to get done um, as part of my, my CNM job. Um, so my feedback will be probably a little bit late getting to you. Um, I did make sure to read all of the uh, topics for the final project that were submitted and all of the um, bibliographies or lists of sources that you submitted as of about 10 o'clock this morning, Thursday the 6th. Um, I'll try to get to those to make sure that you're, you're, you have some feedback and are on the right track for the final project. Other work, though, I'll be getting to a little bit more slowly. I'm thinking that Saturday morning is going to be a big day uh, for me as far as reading your work and sending feedback goes. So I just wanted to let you know that. Um, do continue to send questions, concerns, things you need help with uh, via email. I'll be answering those as quickly as I can, um, or text message if you've used that, however you prefer. Um, and I hope that you're having a good Thursday.